Josh Friedman in a city that is no longer under siege. I am in Sarajevo, Bosnia. It has been nearly 20 years now since the conclusion of the Bosnian War. But you would not know that if you look at the building behind me. This is a remnant of the war. It is one of the few, if not the only building that has been left in shatters. Most of what has been damaged in Sarajevo has been rebuilt. This has not been, and it showcases some of what happened during the siege here in Sarajevo. It was the longest lasting siege in modern warfare. It began in the spring of 1992, and it continued to the end of 1995 in December or early 1996, depending on who you ask. Thousands died, and in the war, the Bosnian War altogether, about 100,000 died. This is the deadliest conflict in Europe since World War II. I'm going to take you out to the outskirts of town, and we're going to take a trip through a tunnel, literally, that was traversed during the Bosnian War. Josh Friedman out in the northeastern outskirts of Sarajevo. Behind me is the Sarajevo airport. I'm going to take you back in time to the siege, 1992 to 95. This is a very strategic location. Behind me, the airport, you can see it was initially controlled by the Serb military, but for most of the siege, it was controlled by the UN. Initially, the Bosnian president, Alia Izabegovic, was captured at the airport. The Serb military took him captive, and later the uh, Serb general was captured by the Bosnian military. He was taken out here, and there was a prisoner exchange of leaders of both sides. Now, uh, the ground I am standing on is actually, I'm standing above what was a tunnel. Uh, back during the war, the Bosnian military would transport weapons and food and goods in from Bosnian controlled areas on the outside of Sarajevo. There are towns out here that were Bosnian controlled and the military would transport goods and weapons from the territory it controlled underneath this ground, underneath the airport, and into the city of Sarajevo that was under siege. You can see some of the villages out here. They were under Bosnian control. And now I'm going to give you the privilege of taking a little trip in a tunnel that remains. We're heading there right now. Okay, we are now heading below ground into a tunnel built in 1993 and was used throughout the Bosnian War thereafter. Here is a first person view of the area in which goods and weapons would be smuggled into the besieged city of Sarajevo. This tunnel would go from the Bosnian controlled towns behind us on the outskirts of Sarajevo down underneath the airport. This tunnel went about 800 meters and it would let out and connect to the city of Sarajevo where the goods and weapons would be delivered to the people and military under siege. And we're back above ground, right next to the airport. Ciao for now from the southeastern, excuse me, the northeastern edge of Sarajevo.